Hello and welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm Jasmine. And I'm Monica. And this is NEMT Van Talks. We got a hot topic for you guys today. Mm -hmm. We are telling you exactly how to start your non-emergency medical transportation business in Texas. Yes. That's right. We love Texas. We love Texas. You know, <laughs> we get so many questions about how do we start in Texas, right? So we're here today to tell you exactly what you need to know in order to get started in Texas. We got you covered. We do. Let's hop <laughs> right in. Right. So first things first, you guys, you want to make sure that you are registering your business. Whether you're going to go with the LLC or a corporation, you want to make sure that that business is registered with the Texas Secretary of State. Mm -hmm. And once you register that business, you want to then go ahead and get a business license. Just like any other business, when you establish a new business, you need to make sure you have a license to operate that business. So most definitely get that business license. And that business license can be obtained from Texas, um, what is it, the Texas... Texas. I just worked with the client last week. I know. I forgot. But we could put the link down there below. We like. can, but... Okay. Texas Health and Human Services. Oh, there it That's is. That's what it was. But we'll also put the link below as well, just in case you need it. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, but then the next couple of steps, um, you want to make sure that you find a vehicle. Mm -hmm. um, determine what type of vehicle you're going to be using for your operations. Mm -hmm. um, are you going to be servicing ambulatory clients wheelchair clients or gurney uh, clients but also keep in mind that the higher level of service that you provide mm -hmm. um, the more money that your business um, can bring in but you also want to make take into consideration as well that vehicle needs to be ADA compliant so make mm -hmm. sure your vehicle is meeting the ADA uh, regulations as well when you're shopping around for your vehicle and if you guys are wondering what ADA means mm -hmm. or um, if you want to look up um, their list of requirements mm -hmm. for vehicles, we'll go ahead and plug the link below. So definitely go ahead and check that out because like Monica said, if you're going to be providing wheelchair or gurney transportation, you want to make sure that that vehicle um, is ADA compliant. Yes. Especially if you want to work with brokers or your state Medicaid. Yeah, absolutely, Jasmine. Mm -hmm. Then also you're going to um, want to look into the insurance for the NEMT industry as well, right? Um, so you're going to need um, commercial um, li commercial auto commercial <laughs> and general liability and, and general liability insurance um, so again that's commercial auto and general liability insurance is the type of insurance you will need for this industry mm -hmm. when you're shopping around make sure you are working with an insurance um, agent that specializes in the NMT industry right you want to work with someone that is knowledgeable about this industry um, and of course you want to make sure you get more than one quote don't mm -hmm. just settle with that first quote Shop around and make sure you're getting multiple quotes um, before you determine who you're going to go with. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I can say that um, right now uh, we are seeing insurance quotes um, come in anywhere mm -hmm. from um, ten to 17000 per vehicle per mm -hmm. year. So don't let that number scare you. Um, you, can act, you can actually afford your insurance premium every month yes. um, as well as operating your business all of your business expenses um, you know with the money that you will bring in from your uh, NEMT business because Absolutely. it is a lucrative business mm -hmm. and if you scale it right if you grow it right if you set it up right um, it could be very profitable. Absolutely. You're right, Jasmine, because I know a lot of people get this, you know, discouraged when they're stepping or they wanted to step into this space. It's like, how much is the cost of insurance? Why do it cost so much? Like, yeah. how do you generate money, pan that type of money out? You can do it. It's Absolutely. possible. So just keep that in mind. So after you find your vehicles, right, you're mm -hmm. going to need somebody to drive the right. vehicles. Right. <laughs> okay. So you want to hire drivers. Mm hmm um, depending on, you know, if you're going to be an owner operator, if you decide that you're going to be the first person, you know, operating, mm -hmm. then you're going to need a dispatch person. Mm -hmm. So I always tell people, utilize the resources around you. So if you have like a family member or you know someone that's older just looking for some supplemental income, um, they would be the perfect um, dispatcher, especially if they're very familiar with your Hold service on, area. Hold on, wait, Jasmine. 
if you like this content we're sharing guys make sure you like subscribe and share this video okay do that for you girls <laughs> absolutely all right Jay. but yeah so like i was saying like utilize the resources that are around you mm -hmm. um drivers um depending on what area you're in drivers can be hard to come by mm -hmm. however idea clients are i'm sorry idea drivers are same thing like someone just looking to um, supplement their income Absolutely. Uh, someone looking for you know part-time work just some, um, some money to make on the side right? yeah mm -hmm. and we even hired one of our newer newer drivers um out of a we found them at a n-e-m-t i'm sorry e-m-t program mm -hmm. so they are they aspire to be a para paramedic mm -hmm. um but they were just looking for you some know. additional money and some and training experience as well mm -hmm. like you're looking for people that are just looking for an opportunity to learn more about this industry before they make a commitment as well um, think, out the, think outside the box yes career yes. fairs um you know leave flyers around mm -hmm. like there's there's a lot of creative ways and things that you can do to find drivers in your area yeah but also when you're looking for those drivers you want to look make sure that you um you're hiring the right individual to uh, be the face of your your business as well so there are certain things that you want to look for right you want to make sure that that person can pass a criminal background check that is very critical in this industry um you want to make sure that person doesn't have any um violent or sexual crimes that have happened in the last seven years so any felonies or misdemeanors towards um, families children um, elderly abuse um, all of those things were disqualify your driver from from passing a background check um, and clearing that individual to to drive for your for your business so absolutely um, and of course you know you do have to do a drug screening as well um, and there's other things too, but just make sure when you're, you're shopping around for your drivers that you do know that they can pass a background check. Yeah, for sure. And you definitely want to pose that question on the application mm -hmm. before you actually hire them because nothing's worse than hiring a driver not knowing that they have a cr criminal background. Mm -hmm. You just waste the money and resources to get them um, to get their background checked and then mm -hmm. it comes back that you can't even utilize them within your business and I mean, those background checks are expensive, expensive, like 60 bucks, right? Right, and you have to pay for that and the drug screening. Um, so, and all the certification that comes along with that, right? First aid, CPR, yeah. defensive driving, like that, that cost is, mm -hmm. you have to cover the cost of that, so. Yeah, so definitely make sure that that is a question on the application, mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. But, you know, once you have created your organization, you've researched all your business licenses that you need um, for for Texas. Right. Um, you know, after you have found your vehicle, after you have hired your driver, um, you want to start marketing. Yes. That's the exciting part. That's the fun part. That's yes. the easy part. Right. right. That's the easy part. Getting out there, spreading the word, telling people about your business and the services that you provide. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you definitely want to have a marketing plan in place. Yes. Um, and then just execute it. And I promise you guys, this business is the most fulfilling, More rewarding, um, rewarding business. Yes. Uh, business that I have done. Um, you know, in my years of being I, I in the agree. workplace. Um, but, you know, get out there, spread the word, let people know what you have going on. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, oh, what? one important thing. What? They got to figure out what their rates are. <gasps> oh, of course. How do we forget that? It's all but we got a video about, you know, figuring out how to um, structure your rates. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go ahead. We'll, we'll add the link up here somewhere. Mm -hmm. So definitely go ahead and check out that video. But other than that, you guys, that is the basic steps that you need to start your business in, in the, Texas. the lovely state of Texas. Yes. And we hear Texas is booming right now for NEMT honors. So and people are really stepping into this space. So don't wait too late to get started. Absolutely. You have the info. Go ahead. All right, guys. We're going to go ahead and hop off. But thanks so much for watching. Ciao. Bye. Till next time.